Hi everyone, this is the bonus members only video segment for our television episode from Lake Cooper in Northeast Texas, north of Sulphur Springs. If you've never been to the lake, I'd like to orient you a little bit to what to expect if you're planning a trip here. It's a fairly large lake and most of the entire lower end of the lake is fairly wide open. But here's the key. Like many lakes across our region, Cooper Lake is very low right now. So depending on when you come, in case we haven't gotten any rain, a couple of things to be aware of. Most of the boat ramps at Cooper Lake are high and dry right now. As of the time we shot this in the middle part of June 2013, the boat ramp at the South Sulphur unit is still barely usable. That's where we launched. But once the lake drops a few more inches, it will be gone as well. The other ramp that is open and usable, got a little more water in it, is the Doctor's Creek unit, which is down by the dam on the north side of the lake. So you can use that one until it becomes unusable. Then you're pretty much toast here at Cooper. You need to be very careful driving around on the lake. There are lots of underwater islands and humps that because of the low lake level, they are just under the surface. A couple of those are marked with PVC pipe, but many of them are not. And if you're ripping out across the lake and you're not looking at a chart or a topo map, you could easily run aground atop one of these, do a lot of damage to your lower unit or your outboard motor. So that's a word of caution. Be very careful. And I would highly recommend that you use some kind of a GPS or a chart if you're coming to this lake or better yet book uh, Tony Parker of Tony Parker's guide service. He fishes here every day, stays on top of the hybrids and the white bass and the crappie. And he could take you and your family on a great trip here. And then you wouldn't have to worry about running aground anywhere. But if you're coming on your own and you want to catch some of the hybrid stripers like we caught on this episode, and if you haven't seen the episode, you need to go back and watch the 2013 Cooper Lake episode. And you'll see some of the big hybrid stripers that we caught on this week's show. They're hard pulling, they're a lot of fun, a lot of action, and we caught quite a few of those. They all relate to underwater humps and ledges. So once again, going back to your chart, your topo map, you find those underwater islands, fish around the outside edges where those drop off into these gravel pits or borrow pits that they made and dug before they impounded this lake. You fish those edges where they drop off into 30, 35 feet of water. That's where those hybrid stripers like to hang. You'll need three basic baits. You can catch them on an Alabama rig. You can catch them on a, a big spoon and you don't need to use a little tiny spoon like a white bass spoon. You need to go with a four, five, six inch long, big, heavy spoon. And thirdly, you can fish a big swim bait. And again, I would fish at least a four, if not a five inch soft plastic swim bait. And you can catch these hybrid stripers. Throw up on the edges of those humps, let it go to the bottom, reel it. They want it in a horizontal presentation. If you just want to catch white bass here, you can easily do that. Fish in the same areas in 15 to 20 feet of water around those humps, but vertically jig a small jigging spoon or a slab straight up and down off the bottom. You'll catch those. If you get here early and late, a lot of times those white bass will push up in big schools out in the open water in the main lake. And you can catch those by casting a top water, a, uh, a rattle bait, a crank bait, anything like that, a moving bait will catch those schooling fish if you happen to catch it on the right day. It's a really good lake. We've never had a bad trip to Lake Cooper, but once again, I can't emphasize enough how much caution you need to use if you haven't been on the lake, if you're not familiar with it, particularly if you don't have a GPS unit to know your way around out there. The hybrid stripers will bite right through the heat of the summer. Doesn't matter how hot it gets, you can always catch the hybrids. They're a hardy fish. They will bite in a heat wave. Hope you enjoyed our episode to Cooper Lake in Northeast Texas. We'll see you on next week's edition of your Southwest Outdoors Report.